Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 10A in the Lua series, where we're going to be going over chat, and more specifically, we're going to be limiting the range that you can actually communicate with another player with. So, we're going to be using both methods here: the um, chat box method and also the uh, voice communication method. However, before we start, we need to make a quick fix. Uh, in the last tutorial. I said to define local player outside of this paint hook. If you do that, that's actually going to cause error upon joining for the first time. You should, because it's not going to know what this is referenced to. So you need to define player inside the hook, and that will fix that. So we're going to save that, and everything should be fine when we go in game. So when we're limiting the range for voice chat, we should be doing this on the server side in init.lua. And to do that, you can use a function in the GM library called player can see players chat. Very long function name, I know, but it has four arguments. It's going to be the text which is being typed in the chat box. Is it a team message? Who is the listener? And who is the speaker? So, so you're going to have a string, um, boolean, and then you're going to have two players. So to do this, or to limit the distance, you should use this following formula where we're going to be comparing the position of the listener to the position of the speaker. So there is a mathematical way to do this. However, we're going to be using a very useful function. But first, let us get the position of the listener, which you do like so. And then we're going to be using the useful function, which is distance. And in parentheses here, we are going to be getting the location of the one who's actually speaking. So we'll get that position as well. All right, so by comparing these two vectors and doing some mathematical functions on this, it will give you a number as an answer. So if we say that if distance is an less than or equal to what about 200 we can say 300 doesn't really matter I'll put 200 just for the sake of not having a huge distance to cover when displaying this um, we will say to return true and that means if you're close if you're within the talking range or the chat range it will permit the text to be transferred from the speaker to the listener and that applies to every listener around you. So because I can't get bots to talk in game, we're going to be displaying that you are indeed within range by saying that you have been heard in the council. All right. So otherwise, this um, we'll assume that they are out of range. So we will say that you have not been heard and we will return false. All right, so let us go in game. All right, so we are now in game and I'm going to spawn a bot. So here's our bot. Now, when I try to type something to him, so I'll say, hello. Notice in the council to the left side right here, uh, second to the last line, it says you have been heard. So when I am over a distance of 200 from him and I say hello again, notice it says right here that you have not been heard. So the listener, the bot in this example, will not see that second hello that I typed, whereas it will have seen it because I was in range because of that function. Now you can also do this with voice chat as well. So in order to do that, we go to function, GM library, player can hear player's voice and this is a low kc there we go so we have two arguments here which is one the listener and two the speaker and we're going to be using this formula as well except the only thing that's different is the return here so it returns a uh, returns are normally boolean they're true or false However, we can also make it like an if statement because you can see there's a comparison here, but this is also Boolean. 
an if statement. So we're going to set a return just like a if statement here. So we'll say that listener, actually I can just copy and paste this because we're using the exact same formula. So we'll say listener get the position, their vector position by the way, and compare the distance to the speaker. And if this distance is less than 200, then it's going to return true and it's going to permit um, anyone within the 200 range to hear them. Now, the further you are away from the source, which is the speaker as a listener, the lower the voice actually gets. So this is how they do it on RP servers where you'll see um, them preventing voice chat from the whole server. You can also it typically increase this range with around 500 or so. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, keep it consistent, and that's about 200. And there's no real way I can display it to you like this. I can't really go in game and talk to a bot and say that the bot can or cannot hear me. So this is something you're going to have to take my word on. But anyway, that's going to go over the basics of limiting the voice range for both the chat and the voice method. If you have any questions on that, please let me know. And until then, I will see you in the next video.